it going guys got the jeep patriot for the day it's been a month since i uploaded a video there are some reasons for that and i give it to you at the end of the video so today my wife called me up and told me she's been having problems with the patriot she said it's been stalling out on her and the traction control light comes on when it stalls out i was a little confused by that but okay so i guess we got to drive it to see what's going on she also mentioned that there is a gas odor that comes in the cabin when she gives it gas that's unusual very unusual and also she mentioned that the check engine oil light comes on that sounds about right because this is running synthetic and it's probably exceeded 3,000 miles between the oil warning light comes on. But it doesn't really need the oil change yet. Still got about 1,000 miles left. So we're going to do something different. We're going to try to diagnose whatever problem she's talking about and see if we can figure out the problem together. Now, there is no check engine light. Because when she told me about this stalling issue over the phone, I instantly came to a conclusion that it could be the crankshaft position sensor that sits behind the engine. But I just recently changed that part two years ago, so there's no way that part could have failed that quick. There are also no check engine light codes. Just a traction control light comes on when it stalls out. Interesting. Now, before y'all roast me in the comments about how dirty it is, look, it rained, she went through some mud, okay? So it's gonna get dirty. Now, about the traction control, before you roast me in the comments about that, yes, I am aware that when traction control is engaged, it cuts power from the engine. But there's no reason for that to stall. So let's go ahead and hop in, see if we can figure out what's going on. We also gonna go for a little drive and check the oil, even though I know there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so starts up fine. Got the AC going. Like got some nasty weather coming our way. Now, we did have an issue with an ABS sensor. I wanna say last year that was replaced. That's where your ABS light, traction control light, and four-wheel drive light come on all at once. Nothing really to too much panic about. When you see something like that, when your four-wheel drive light, ABS light, and traction control light is on all at the same time, it's just the ABS sensor on the wheel that needs hey, to be so changed out. We are going for a little drive. Got the AC going so far, uh, I don't see any issue with it yet but let's just keep driving and seeing if we can find the issue okay so i'm currently at a stoplight and i'm still not experiencing any stalling issues whatsoever so i'm gonna cut the camera off i'm gonna drive this a little bit longer and if i can catch something i'm gonna pull the camera out see if i can catch it on camera and we're gonna try to diagnose this problem together if the problem comes up. Okay, I'm at the intersection and still no stalling issue. So, we're just gonna keep driving, I guess. Of course, I picked a good day to do a video. It wants to rain on me. Great. Okay, so I didn't catch it on camera, but this thing just shut off on me in the parking lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart it. And as of right now, I'm not getting any traction control light that she told me about. That's weird. Very, very weird. Let's pull up to O'Reilly's to see if we can borrow a scan tool. Maybe I can pull a code, but there's no check engine light codes or anything like that. So, could this be something to do with the throttle? That's causing this stalling issue. I'm gonna borrow this scan tool from O'Reilly's real quick. It's real simple to use because I'm not home, so I'm gonna do it here. All right, so we are connecting. See if I can pull anything. Uh, No powertrain DTCs or freeze frame data is presently stored in the vehicle's computer system. 
Interesting. Can't find any codes for that stalling issue. This is kind of weird. But what would cause this to stall out while you're driving? That's kind of questionable. I never had this issue before other than when we had that crankshaft position sensor issue. So, interesting. No codes. And I spoke to someone in O'Reilly's. I'm thinking it's the throttle body. And he basically said the same thing. Now, I'm hoping I don't have to replace a throttle body on this Jeep Patriot. Because the location that this throttle body sits at, it sits at the bottom. And you have to take the bumper, the grill, and everything apart to get to that throttle body. And that's a job. And I also don't want to pay somebody else to do it because they're going to charge me a lot for labor. So, what I'm going to probably do for the time being, and I'm going to make a part two of this video, I'm going to disconnect the battery terminals. See if this throttle body can reset itself. And if that don't work, I'm going to go from there. I'm guessing when it stalled out, and stalled out on her. She thought it was the traction control or ABS because all the warning lights came up when it stalled down on me. That has nothing to do with the stalling issue. So this is clearly something to do with the throttle body. We know it's not the crankshaft position sensor because we would have pulled the codes. We would got a code number for that. This is something dealing with the throttle body. So either that throttle body is gunked up with a bunch of dirt, debris, whatever. Or it just need to be replaced, which is something I really do not want to do. So we're going to see if disconnecting the battery terminals will help this issue. But disconnect the battery, I'm going to let it sit, reconnect it, and it'll be a part two of this video coming up. Let y'all know how that goes. If that don't work, we know something's going on with the throttle body. Also, if you made it to the end of this video i had been mia for a month uh my son has started school so things has been a little busy with school and homework and stuff like that so family comes first so i was unable to make some videos but we're getting back to it we're getting back to it also i want to thank a lot of the new subscribers to this channel as well uh, daylight has gotten away from us. It is September. Days are getting shorter and shorter. So, with that being said, there will be a part two of this video. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this 2011 Jeep Patriot. Let y'all know what happened. To me, in my opinion, I think this throttle body might have to be replaced. But I don't want to go that route yet. So, let's see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.